So here, as I've mentioned in uh, part one, um, I've just taken the, uh, the tray <coughs> of minced um, beef and pork out of uh, the oven. It's been there about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So that goes here into these um, crisp packets. And basically, sort of every second, third day, there's about 200 grams in each um, in each packet. And so every two or three days, they get a packet mixed in with their food, and that's why I like it, the mints, um, because it, it mixes in really well with with uh, the the vegetables and. Um, lentils and things mash so and here's the fat which um, after I've put the chickens in will be a nice lake and you will see I'll show you that I'll mix that with um, porridge oats to make a nice thick paste which is brilliant for treats so here are um, pretty frozen chicken portions which are just now going in the oven and I have to say this is I've been a vegetarian now for 30 years. This is a little bit difficult, but that should be all right. So I'll leave these in for about half an hour or so. Yeah, so as I said, I'll leave them in for about half an hour at 150 degrees. Um, and then I will take them out. Now these, I won't mix with the rest of the food. They can have, every two or three days, they can have a piece. But again, I will put them here into a uh, crisp packets um, so they're nice and separate <clears throat> so when I want to take them out of the freezer I just take a couple out one for each dog so that's uh, nice and simple and easy so um, in a 20 day period they get bet each between one and one and a half kilograms of meat plus 25 kilograms of veg vegetables lentils and uh, porridge oats now the food that was recommended by the, the rescue place for Luki, um, I've mentioned before, was this um, Tesco's uh, dry food. And uh, I read on the label, it's actually here. Oops, excuse me. Yes, so here it is. Um, it's complete, say, the, say dry dog food with beef and vegetables. But actually, it has got a lot of added things. Uh, the list is huge of the things that it's got added. And as I said, I've only I've worked out that it's only just a bit more than one percent meat. And the meat, of course, is uh, hydrated. I mean, this this is basically it. You know, I mean, I don't know what goodness um, this meat has. But basically, I've worked out that mine get almost 4%, so they get four times as much meat as if I fed them this uh, complete dry food. So in the one and a half years, I've only bought about two or three of these bags, and I do take them away when I travel to Switzerland or Spain, or even within England, because I'm limited. If I go for two weeks, it's, it's limited what I can take with me in, in terms of frozen food. Um... So they get a little bit of, of that, but as I said, that's only the third bag that I bought in one and a half years. Um, so now it is time to put uh, their packets, their beef and pork packets, oops, here we go, into the freezer, into the bag, here we go. So I tend not to buy bags, I tend to recycle bags, reuse them. This is uh, one of their porridge oats bags. Right. And then it goes into the freezer. And then in a couple of days I'll take one out or two. And they'll have it mix those mixed in, in in their dry food. So chicken spin in for about half an hour at 150 degrees so that should be okay take it out just to cool down turn the oven off and then again there will be 
once cooled, I'll put uh, portions into into bags and again into the freezer, and then it'll keep in there for three, four months. Of course, it won't last that long. But uh, <coughs> the meat cooking day is the favourite day of my dogs because they always get two or three pieces each. Um, so here we have the fat, and I'm going to pour some porridge oats. They absorb the fat, and that makes perfect treats for the dogs. They absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Yes, so once it's absorbed it, we uh, put this into a pot, and uh, the pot is actually cottage cheese, which is also something, I'll probably buy them a pot once every two weeks or so, just to uh, give them some extra calcium. Um, alongside with eggs, they have probably about two or three eggs. Yes, two or three eggs a week. So this now goes into the fridge, and in there he keeps for probably about a week or so. 